Hi. In this video, we will derive the equation for centroid of sector of a circle. Okay. So let me write the figure of sector uh, of a circle. Okay, center of a circle means it is small part of a circle. Okay, it is small part of a circle. Now I have done the figure of center of a circle. Okay, now for this I will draw the reference axis. I will take the reference axis through the center of semicircle reference x axis. And perpendicular to that x axis will be reference y axis, right? Reference y axis. Okay. See for sector of a circle. Okay. For sector of a circle, figure is symmetric about x axis. If the figure is symmetric about x axis, y bar is known, but it is not symmetric about y axis. We have to find the uh, equation for x bar. Okay. I will write one more figure here for your understanding. So if I take the sector of the circle now. Center of a circle. If I take sector of a circle, figure is symmetric about x-axis. Okay. Figure is symmetric about x-axis means this x-axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts. Therefore, if I take G as center of the quadrant of the circle, figure is symmetric about x-axis. Therefore, y bar is known y bar is equal to how much in this case y bar is equal to 0 y bar is equal to 0 because the center at g is lying in the reference axis reference x axis okay there is no distance of this center at g from the reference x axis therefore y bar is equal to 0 if g is somewhere here then you would have uh, got some distance okay but here in this case center at lies in the reference x axis okay y bar is equal to 0 but the figure is unsymmetric about y axis if i draw one more axis through the one more vertical axis through the centroid this y axis this central y axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts therefore we have to derive the equation for x bar we have to derive the equation for the x bar okay now for sector of a circle we understood that it is symmetric about x axis, y bar is known, y bar is equal to 0. And it is unsymmetric about the y axis, we have to derive the equation for the x bar. Okay. To derive the equation for the x bar, let me consider let me consider an elemental strip. An elemental strip of thickness elemental strip of thickness dr thickness dr at a radial distance small r okay at a radial distance small r from center of center of the center of center of the circle let me take theta theta as inclination of elemental strip with the x axis and let me take d theta d theta as angle inside the elemental strip and let me assume let me assume the sector of the circle is having the total angle as 2 alpha ok the total angle of sector of circle is 2 alpha okay now what will be the length of the curve here what is the length of the curve here length of the curve is equal to we know that uh, if you have a, a small curve of radius r with an included angle theta length of the curve, curve is equal to r into theta r theta similarly here we have the small r as radius t theta as included angle therefore here length of the curve is equal to r into 
d theta r into d theta okay r into d theta now below you write area of elementor strip area of elementor strip is equal to d a is equal to we know we have the elementor strip of sides r d theta and dr therefore area will be product of r d theta and dr okay now we got the area of the elementor strip now we want to derive the equation for x bar to derive the equation for x bar we have a generalized formula x bar is equal to moment of area moment of area divided by total area moment of area divided by total area now we will formulate the equation for moment of area first okay to get moment of area first you consider the moment of elementor strip about y axis okay so in all previous derivations we used to take moment about x axis or moment about base okay but here in this derivation we are taking moment about y axis why because we want the equation for the x bar in all previous derivations we have derived the equation for the y bar okay remember to derive the equation for y bar you have to take moment about the base or the x axis to derive the equation for the x bar you have to take moment about the y axis so we are, here we want equation for x bar we will take moment about y axis okay therefore moment of moment of elemental strip elemental strip about y axis is equal to moment of area is area into perpendicular distance area of elemental strip is da into perpendicular distances distances when it comes to the perpendicular distance what i will do is uh, I'll draw one vertical here. So you consider this uh, right angle triangle. Okay. You consider this right angle triangle. Okay. Here the perpendicular distance of this elemental strip. Okay. From reference y axis is this one. Let me take this uh, length as a. A. Okay. So we know the angle theta. So we measure cos theta in this right angle triangle. Okay. Therefore, cos theta is equal to a by overall uh, uh, a by radius is r, right? Small r, a by r. Therefore, a is equal to what? R cos theta. R into cos theta. Therefore, perpendicular distance of elemental strip from the y-axis is r cos theta. Therefore, let me write the same perpendicular distance. Let me multiply the same perpendicular distance here. R into cos theta. Okay. R into cos theta. Okay. Area of the elemental strip is dA multiplied by perpendicular distance R into cos theta. Okay. Now you got moment of elemental strip about the y axis. To get moment of whole area, what we have to do? We have to do the integration. Therefore, moment of whole area whole area about y axis is equal to you have to integrate with respect to radius as well as angle with respect to radius integration limits is from 0 to r with respect to angle with respect to angle see it is having the sector of circle is having the total angle of 2 alpha therefore each angle will be how much each angle will be alpha and alpha okay, because x axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts so while applying the limits okay so with respect to the x axis with reference to the x axis only you need to apply the limits so below the x axis it is minus alpha above the x axis it is plus alpha so limits are from minus alpha to plus alpha don't apply the limits as 0 to 2 alpha okay it is wrong okay with reference to the x axis only we have to apply the limits with reference to x axis below the 
x axis it is x axis it is minus alpha opposite x axis it is plus alpha finally we will have the difference between the two as two alpha only okay minus alpha minus uh, minus of this uh, uh, upper one minus alpha you will, you will have two alpha only as difference okay Do, don't bother about it just you consider the limits with respect to the reference x axis only okay below the x axis it is minus alpha above the x axis it is plus alpha so limits are from minus alpha to plus alpha d a into r cos theta okay so you know the formula for d a which is equal to r d t into d r substitute therefore limits from minus alpha to plus alpha limits from 0 to r d a is equal to r d t into d r r d theta into d r into r cos, cos theta r cos theta therefore integration limits from minus alpha to plus alpha limits from 0 to r it is r square cos theta r square cos theta into dr into d theta therefore limits from minus alpha to plus alpha what i will do is i will integrate with respect to r integration of r square is r cube by 3 limits from 0 to r so the remaining terminology is minus alpha to plus alpha cos theta into d theta so apply the limits to here r cube by 3 okay integration of cos theta is what it is sin theta limits from minus alpha to plus alpha therefore r cube by 3 apply the limits now sin alpha minus alpha minus of sin minus alpha correct sin minus alpha therefore r cube by 3 r cube by 3 in the brackets sin alpha so minus into minus it becomes plus plus sin alpha okay so the final equation is r cube by 3 into 2 sin alpha therefore it is 2 r cube by 3 into sin alpha 2 r cube by 3 into sin alpha to this you got moment of whole area over the y axis okay this is moment of whole area now we want one more parameter that is total area okay see if it is a semicircle it is directly half of area of the circle if it is a quadrant of the circle it is directly one fourth of area of the circle but it is sector of a circle okay sector of a circle we have to derive the equation for area of the sector of sector of the circle okay using the first principles okay so you cannot directly write the formula of sector of the circle we have to derive it again okay similar to the moment of area we will derive the equation for total area by the method of integration only okay so the total area of the circle is equal to total area of Uh, sector of sector of circle is equal to so we know the elemental strip area of the elemental strip what is the area of the elemental strip da correct or i will directly take this formula r d theta into dr r d theta into dr is the area of sector of the circle if you integrate area of sector of the circle with respect to radius and the angle theta, you will get the total area. Okay. Therefore, limits from 0 to R and minus alpha to plus alpha. Okay. If you integrate area of the sector of the circle with respect to the radius and with respect to the angle, you will get the total area. Therefore, first you integrate with respect to R, it will be R square by 2 limits from 0 to capital R. So, remaining term is minus alpha to plus alpha, okay, d theta, correct? Therefore, apply the limits here, capital R cube, sorry, capital R square by 2. So, integration of d theta is theta, 
limits from minus alpha to plus alpha r square by 2 apply the limits now alpha minus of minus alpha therefore r square by 2 alpha plus alpha you will get in the bracket therefore it is 2 r square alpha divided by 2 2 gets cancelled therefore area of sector of circle is equal to r square alpha now you got total area equation for the total area previously we have derived the equation for moment of area so substitute both the terms in this equation x bar therefore therefore x bar is equal to moment of elemental strip or moment of area that is 2 r cube by 3 into sin alpha 2 r cube by 3 into sin alpha divided by divided by total area total area is what r square alpha r square alpha r square gets cancelled okay in the numerator you will get only r therefore x bar is equal to x bar is equal to 2r by 3 alpha into sin alpha so this is the final equation for x bar therefore for a sector of a circle for a sector of a circle the distance of centroid okay the distance of centroid x bar is equal to what is the formula 2r by 3 alpha into sin alpha this is the formula and y bar i have explained in the at the initial stage of this derivation x bar is equal to 0 x bar is equal, sorry y bar is equal to 0 because central x uh, central the centroid g lies in the reference x axis okay y bar is equal to 0 okay so this completes the derivation for centroid of sector of a circle okay thank you